Hello and welcome to my project. New project is Job Manager. It will be a ultimate solution for job seekers. And basically what I will record, I will record uh, live coding sessions where I write uh, unit tests and create classes to be able to create a frontend for job manager. Uh, this time I uh, have another participant in the project uh, but today I will code alone so basically uh, I need quickly represent what the domain of the project well I have here two, st two things actually one is a Spring Boot and another one is a client which is a browser or uh, another type of client but let's do some simple stuff so here I have Spring Boot server and on another side I have a client in the Spring Boot application I will have I will actually have a uh, templating engine time leaf. I hope I'm time leaf time leaf. I spell it right. Let me quickly check it. Time I think I mis mis misspell it. So basically it goes like this. Time leaf. It's a templating engine which allow me to to create HTML and process HTML forms. So what happened? Uh, what actually happening? So the user sent a request to my front end, and he basically receives then later a request, uh, a response. Sorry, a response in form of HTML. So, when the request uh, was sent to the Spring Boot application, Spring Boot application will catch it, and the Time Leaf engine will produce the appropriate output HTML form, which it will be sent to the client. And this is like <coughs> actually what happening from the from the abstract view now to the development process so I have created uh, I have business cards I mean small um, sorry I have here I have created here scrum cards and I will try to implement the first story register new user in web platform so basically pretty simple and how I my, how I think about so I have my user the user put a data and this can be look like following so when the user clicks on the platform when he clicks on link to register to be registered or sign in and he need to to provide following data first name last name birth date email city street street number country okay and after that uh, country username basically username should be like here username country job state so job state can be unemployed employed and self-employed like me um, then we have registration date and this is basically what my system additionally saves about user registration date and 
user status like uh, enabled or disabled so basically this is what I need to save and let me do it like a little bit yeah, I think it's enough so the username will be uh, a string and I use string data type just for the sake uh, of it I mean I can actually think about using string buffer but for my case string will be sufficient first name will be a string last name will be a string birth date will be a date I mean it will be a, um, a Java data type date email will be a string city will be a string string street will be a string street number will be a string country will be a string job state will be actually a string then I've almost forgot so reg registration date will be a date data type date username user status will be a boolean and here I have another stuff like applications references references so each user has a uh, user has a list of applications and this will be like a reference reference type reference type and this is that's it and let me do the coding so I have pretty big uh, POM. Yeah, I I record I record actually this is the second time, <laughs> but uh, the problem was with the J unit as it normally is. But now let's just try it out. Should all work? So basically, I have here package model test. I create a J unit. And here I need to write following like what I'm testing I'm testing um, user model test user model test all right so before I can actually write some code I need to actually I need to write actually a test test check if user object exist pretty simple test uh, what I'm doing here assert not null and then I just need to write here like I don't know I need to declare it let me just do it following public pub just actually void will be sufficient void assert not null what I'm what I'm asserting I'm asserting that my object can be created so basically I need uh, before each so void set up before each would uh, execute this method before each test method so before each execute setup before the test method will be executed so let me just write following here i need like private um how it should name it mm, user this is basically user of my system simple user of my system user job job manager user so I, I basically have two types of user one is the admin and the second one is simply a user so let's just uh, but I want to make it specific a user of user of no uh, job manager user user 
user job manager user no user naming always complicated let's just make it simple user user object and then i create here user object new user right and i write here import check if user object exists user object and i hope notation uh, checking user object was not created i hope i putting this in, in the right form actual and message so it's cool now why i doing such test because i want to be sure that i can actually create this object it's pretty simple stuff and it should fail both on my environment and in the maven execution test so let me just quickly check it I think it does even not compile so let's just create this object I have I have here models new class user and then I just need to execute import this class from models and let's hope it it runs and, and then I have first uh, what it does not like the file does not exist I think this is an issue with my let me just run it from 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 maven test So it was basically an issue with my um, IDE. Uh, let me just quickly check it how to solve this problem. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's kind of always difficult with development uh, environments, but I I figured it out. So basically, once again when i execute let me just uh, okay console is clear so when i execute from the poem maven test let me just quickly look it up now it executing and the test passing great and if i would like to execute in my development environment which is pivotal spring tool suite 4 and just here click run as junior test voila it runs strange bugs happens so basically now i just need to check it in my make a commit because i have updated a lot of stuff commit commit let me just quickly look up settings actually settings i don't need a uh, uh, moment moment please i need to exclude this f f settings let me just quickly do some stuff okay finally i figured it out uh, i need to update my ignore and check in so let me just write here first uh, test uh, pass so I passing, committing to the git my first real test, which I passing. Pretty simple. Let me just do it. Now it's committed into the. Yep. Okay. Cool. 
now I just need to be make sure that all running but it was previously done so still all tests passing J unit 5 cool now I just need to I need okay so now the next move will be like I have created this user class and now I need to figure it out what I need to store and maybe it thinks like rudimentary stuff where it is my um, let me just quickly find it out uh, have a lot I always you prefer to have more open documentation to read about so basically I need to create simple tests and some people say do not create stuff for setters and getters uh, in my case I want to reassure that I can later 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 in the project can change the behavior of the class user and I need to make sure that I can populate this data to this entity model like I will say and I just do simple stuff here so basically next test will be like following um, let me write the test first test void check if user name set up and here what I do following I have my user object string name of user like I don't know John I like this name John and here I just need to have like stuff like user object and then populate pretty simple stuff but some people say it's not need to be done but I, I actually prefer to to have some I, I will say with such type of test I'm making sure that later when something changes uh, on the attributes of user I still have some verification that is really that I can later refactor my code so what I have here to expect uh, I think th it goes like this expected value and from the actual value user object get user name and it should fail basically user username was not set up not correctly set up all right and let's just let's definitely fail this will definitely fail yep it fails let just then implement this issue let me quickly do the user so like here private string user name and then I need set a get a okay and I need a constructor because I'm using a constructor uh, where I have my stuff let me let it quickly done some code okay generate constructor using fields finally 
Finally, I'm starting using the, the stuff from the IDE. Cool. Finally, it works. Let me just quickly close it. So, now I have a constructor which gets username and then do it like I expect. Let me just then uh, write here username, wasn't correctly set up, user object. Ah, okay, now I see where is the problem. So, I need the default constructor. I need one default constructor. Source. Uh, I can just use it like this a default constructor and here it will be like user username set actually I don't need this in this case set oops um, set username user Actually, I need to call it like user itself set. Okay. So I need to call this method set username this this set username username. And username will be in this case undefined. So in the case when somebody calls you just only uh, user without any name, it will be undefined. And in another case, I will just set up the username. So in the test itself, I need to uh, actually not to use a constructor stuff type, but actually to call setter, set user username, name of user. Okay, now it should definitely work. So I can set up the username. So pretty simple test. I always like to work with pretty simple tests first. Next step uh, will be basically last name and some people say why do you want to write it once again just for the sake of it check if user last name set up do so name of user in my case it will be like let me just quickly correct some stuff. First name. First name of user. For first name of user, this message will be printed only when the test fails. So first name of user was not correctly set up. Uh, let me just quickly go it. Maybe I need to, yeah, I don't need all the stuff. So now it starts to look like nice. Here I just need to write last name of user. I think some people said but this is actually the same type of test why why do you want to do it well i prefer i prefer actually to have it in this way because uh, now i can actually see how it goes the behavior of the object user starts to be able starts definitely Definitely I see how it works. Okay. First name, last name. And how I 
need to I need actually to think about so in the case when only last name of user provided hmm, definitely let me populate some stuff string um, first name John okay now I need to make sure that I have such constructor and here I just need to make sure that I have all stuff set up set uh, ah sorry i'm kind of i'm kind of uh, without concentration currently so i don't need this of course i don't need this sorry i i'm <laughs> was a little bit unconcentrated okay last name of user do set last set user last name aha uh -huh, okay last name get user last name okay and i need to refactor other stuff get user first name set user first name and now it become I uh, breaking my stuff but this is cool actually because I hear user first name and then I just need to kill all of this test refactor source code getter setters now it's cool so user first first name let me just do it like this okay set user first name now I refactor my code. This test should be fine. Cool, it works. So I setting up first name of user. Set user first name. First name of user. Get user first name. So first name of user actually works. Now let's do the other stuff. Just right here. Private string user second uh, last name last name and then populate the source code with get and setters okay now definitely it looks better so and of course I want to have a constructor for the for the user last name let me just do it like this first name why I do such thing because Later, I can actually verify that I have such case. So let me just quickly check it. Rename method user, user last name, last name. Ah, because it, it thinks now it a, a pretty interesting story. So let's just delete it. So I cannot create a mess. Okay, now I have the situation where I'm checking the last name and first name. 
and both tests should run pretty fine. Cool. So now I can I can have last name, first name separately set it up. Now next test test now I just need to write this like void check if if user first and last name set up now definitely it is so okay now what I need to do let me just take it and this is actually the power of unit tests because you can copy already already stuff which you need and then you can actually use it like this okay and assert equals first name and last name views was not correctly set up so how I do verification of, of following stuff pretty simple I take it first name last name make a, a space between of those and here I just need to Okay, so now I have maybe yeah, definitely. So let me just quickly check it. Is it possible? So I can set up. I can re actually set up. Let me execute it once again. And let's commit the code. And uh, do I need? Uh, I always I don't need to include those settings. Settings, 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 settings. Class path. I don't need it. But two stuff. Uh, test for checking to first and last name of user commit this is the power of unit test you can actually commit early so all test running and my maven actually let me just quickly execute it to make reassure that my maven stuff actually runs and it runs so now I have now I need to think about so I am actually setting up but what if a user want to create an object with a so it, it pass it need to pass through actually I have the case where the user passing only the first name and basically do I need this constructor I think I don't I don't need this cost constructor I don't need this constructor let's just execute my test now I'm in the blue phase I can refactor my code yeah does runs pretty well so this is the power of TDD and now I won't actually 
I want to have a case. Let me create an object test. So basically I would have yeah, I need to write test test void check if a user a user can be created with first and and last name let me just do it so i will take it to stuff and basically i need to create a user user new user new user oh, actually i need to capital I'll use capital and here I provide here I provide the stuff <coughs> and later I actually need to have this kind of line basically yeah and now this test definitely will fail let me just quickly and you see this case actually failing and uh, what I need to do I need to create constructor my clips are not always helpful uh, let me just Create constructor. Create constructor. First name, last name, and first name, last name. Actually, I can let me do it better let me just this set use your first name and this set and use last name of user and now it should not fail oh I'm failing cool so what is the problem? Undefined now. Cool. So you see, now it's time to think what you're actually doing. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, so, you use. Ah, I know. Wait a second. Actually, I need to use an uh, object from new user. Now let's try it again. Now it works. It was a mistake in my uh, unit test. Now it works. So once I once again, I am creating. I I have tested that I can actually create an object with a given username and last name of the user okay and now uh, let me just run all of my tests green green and now I can commit to my actually team commit let me just so now I just commit and like I don't know uh, added test case for 
creating a user with first and last name only commit and push So, uh, I see on, on the time almost at one hour, but anyhow, let's think about another test. This test will be like uh, giving a birthday. So, check if a user can be created with given birthday okay and now i just need to think about how i should proceed further because i need a date let me think about it a little bit okay so once again <laughs> i repeatedly fascinated with java as a language uh, I found sometimes, uh, sometimes when I uh, not use uh, a lot of time one of classes of Java Core, I forget how to actually to use them. But anyway, I was able to prototype me uh, to, to prototype an example how to use um, Java local date. Basically, I need to and run as java application so it's a small example from another project and now i have implemented into my test so the user gives such date and then i execute my test and it runs how so how i exactly solve the problem so basically first uh, using when the user provides the date of his birthday i need to make some sort of a string manipulation because java oops uh, java has not um, i mean out of the box java provide a lot of stuff but in my case i have european data type stuff so like uh, mo day month and year i know it's not like in us but i decided to use a european style uh, of date input so finally mm, what i have done first i need to set this date and now i have following i'm doing this uh, reg regex of the string of the date which I pass through this method to this method and then I decide to have an input like day month and year with, a, with this with this additional sign so then I pass this date to my um, user birthday local date type local date type and then I have set up my user birth date in the user object and next step will be to get the date and here you go I'm getting the date so I'm expected to get actual output like this and I just use my getter and getter simply simply uh, produce the expected format it takes this format method from the local date type local date type and yeah and it works so i actually run it all of my times pass and if i run my wait a second here is my project pom run as test it runs all of my tests through the maven build tool and then my build tool 
successfully executes all tasks all test pass and it means that I can actually check in into the version control commit so I don't need settings probably I need to exclude and I don't need class path can I make it untrack Okay, um, test, test case, set user birthday, commit and push. Okay, finally. Finally, I can think about something else. Mm, should I be able to forward this date to my constructor? I don't. I don't think. Uh, I actually thinking about not to have two big constructors, just to use setters and getters when it when when it make any sense. So basically, let just proceed further with the following tests and uh, next test in my line all right so email okay email is pretty obvious email it's actually like uh, like following test check if user email set up I know it's kind of stupid test but still I have need to have I uh, let me just write it following here user email so John do at um, I don't know let me just think about what kind of domain I want to see here let me just say Red Hat I like Red Hat Red Hat com no no advertise no advertisement for the Red Hat but I like Red Hat <laughs> so basically here I will put the string and set user email Set user email and let me just adjust my test. User object get user get user uh, last name. Uh, let me think about so get user email. Uh, user email was not set up now I have written this test and here it's kind of obvious test some people say it's not so useful but I say it's useful to me and what I need to do I just need to create let me just copy this and to make this test pass private string email user email and then to have here creating source getter and setter yeah, user email basically it's simple string I don't know I'm not so familiar with all of the Java API's I can quickly check uh, local date so I, I pretty pretty of like to use the documentation I'm not kind of crazy Java programmers who can actually remember all of 
Java user API. It's not possible in my opinion, but let me just quickly uh, look up email as a data type. So basically it's no in Java 8 there are no any reference to the this kind of stuff. All classes. Yeah. So basically I will use a string to check if I can set up the email and let me just do it cool so I have set up the email was pretty obvious test and I can run all of my tests and I can commit commit finally I don't see any other bothering stuff and edit test to check the set up of email set up of user email commit and push yeah some people say why do you write such uh, pretty obvious test I love them because it gives me notation that I'm thinking about how my uh, class behavior happens uh, so it's currently thinking pattern of class class behavior now what I need to do next and let me just quickly switch to my uh, other stuff let me I don't think that I close this uh, yeah I know it's too many uh, links so now do we do let me just okay so you see what I have to do next and basically basically not a pet so basically what I need to implement city city street name uh, street number and country country yeah and job state I think I in this case I will probably use a numerator a numerator class type so it basically will be definitely the case where I need to have to, to write another to write another class so let me just I see it's almost at one hour let me just uh, postpone and then come back later and show you all um, one two three four five states uh, I mean the case case tests okay so after writing some sort of a boring stuff uh, let me just quickly show you what I have written so basically I have written test cases to, to check if the user can set up his uh, employment sets uh, employment state and this is all about uh, during his registration so model user model represents uh, a class from which our objects are created by which I can then later change the state of the user if the user is employed or unemployed and such and such but you see I have already uh, check it in into the version control all test running what I have created additionally user employment enum class just to be able to make it some sort of an easy and enums I'm using enums in my test so it works for me pretty well like following like here and my user have now a lot of getters and setters yeah get it's get crowded and I have 
default constructor by which I have like default values which I want to set up and then then it's not all what I want to to do today now I need to write a test let me switch to my Firefox so all of the features are implemented and and tests have have been written for setting up those values now I want to write uh, like things like registration date user status application reference this should be interesting uh, because I have no applications and the reference type of appli actually application reference means I have a reference to different kind of applications well I need to postpone this feature let me do some stuff so just I will do my best for the next stuff and the next stuff will be like writing like uh, enabled or disabled stuff so basically uh, the false state of the user it is disabled because uh, user must practically approve his registr registr registration via email or I don't know via some sort of a check form and let me just write following void check if user account check if user account is disabled set up okay now what I need to do I need a user object and actually I am working now right now with a boolean boolean uh, account user user account state user user account state user account state I expect to be false and let me just write an assert assert equals so now I have here two states one one which I expect and another one which uh, uh, in real life happening user object user object and now I just need to get get account state get user account I hope I spell it right account state account state and then if it fails I just write here user account is not set up for disable to disable state to disable state so I expect to see it should fail because clearly I have not written this method cool now I switch to my user and here I at user I write here like following stuff private boolean and then I just use from my test user account state user account state boolean user account state and what kind of stuff it should be well I need my getters and setters here 
user account state and and then I just need to make a state this set user account state to actually false and then when I invoke my test it should pass it pass and cool so now it's per default that the user account state is disabled now I need to write a test with a different kind of stuff now I need to activate the user and if check if user account is enabled enable setup I expect to see a true statement set set user account state true why it fails the method at the boolean void ah okay so took i was too quick with my uh, with my stuff actually i need to have a getter sure yeah now it works pretty well so basically uh, the user account is not set up to enabled state enabled state this i will see when it fails run as j unit test tuck and it 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 works pretty well so basically now i have written almost completely this stuff and it took, took me not so much time actually I think I just need to have it right okay cool so I just need to run all of my tests from the POM and it pass hope, hopefully Okay, cool. And none now I can actually make a commit. And this is how I would like to work. Written small test and commit a test case for user account state. now I have another commit definitely a lot of progress for this time I see it almost at one hour and the one thing which I want to have to be to be actually done so what I need to write here user status like enabled or disabled okay this I have already reached registration date so let me write a test case for registration date okay let me just quickly okay now how i would love to proceed with the registration date so the case with the registration basically will be like following test void check if user read rec date 
was set up. And definitely, uh, so I expect actually to actually the registration happens independently so when the user registered in the system it's uh, per default disabled uh, the user clicks on email and then only then his account is enabled so here i need to check up i want to I want to see the date. I want to see the date of the user registration. So I will it's basically almost almost the same type of stuff. So how I should proceed about registration? I have a method registrate date in my mind registrate date call on user object and user object write to himself his registration date and get registration date so basically my assert will be like following So I expect some date. I don't know exactly which one of the date. So it's basically assert not null. Assert not null and assert not null. and i expect registration and basically i expect user account user object user object get user registration date and basically what should I expect my expectation that when I create new user uh, like I don't know user object in this special case I have user user uh, user new user new user default constructor I will use default constructor and when I invoke default constructor the re registration method happens and I can actually I must be able to verify let just so I have written a failing test now here I need to I will basically use the same sort of type local date user registration date user registration date and user registration date I need getter and setter ok 
Okay, I have my uh, default constructor where I need to invoke my setter. And then the same stuff goes to this constructor. Set. Let me just write here. This set user. Set user reg registration date. Set user registration date, and then I just need to use local date. And when I not forgot, uh, now update the current date from the system clock in the default time zone. Okay. Let me just do it following. And actually the same command goes if I use the other constructor. Alright. And let me print out print out this date. Sys out print ln new user. Um get user registration actually registration date to string cool let's just run it okay this is the date of today so it looks cool but I would prefer some sort of a formatted formatted way. I prefer day, month, year. Let me make let make some adjustment. Okay, so Formatter Yeah, I need to use local date parse Local date point parse No Comma I forgot to write another now here I need to use to string yeah. cool and this kind of stuff I should let me quickly make a extract method from it I think one was too much Yep. Refactor extract method for mat rec date, and this should be a private method. So let's just run my test and see how it goes. Oh cool, so now I, I understand that I So now I meeting some sort of a failure Let me Let me quickly look it up uh, this method. So what I'm doing not right Local date Ah, 
I understand. Okay, so the problem is as as it was previously. Let me think about. Okay, I think I think my concentration is so sort of uh, almost at, at the end, but still works. I decided to make one liner mm. format reg date, yeah, and basically, basically one thing which I need to do, I use stack overflow and let me quickly switch on so now i have here registration date user status uh, application reference so uh, for the application reference i will definitely here write like a comment implement to do implement uh, reference reference to a list or s of some sort collection where belong to this user collection of job applications applica job applications and basically I think that's it I will do one interesting thing I just need to make a here like refactor extract method here I'll just write it will be a private method set up default values and definitely this will be the case here i have let me just put it like uh, the ball here put it like here okay now i have pretty crowded class but now i can actually say following that it almost uh, this class it's almost done and i have written my test for all of the stuff and i don't need this output i can run all of my pom test And let's just okay. All stuff looks great. Seventeen tests run without any problem. And yeah, uh, in conclusion, I would say following. Maybe, maybe what I need to do. Let me just think about. Ah, I, I almost forgot to have a default to string method for this class, like uh, source to string. Yeah, generate to string. Default to string method. Okay, and basically, okay, let me just think about what I want to, so let's create last, last test, test, void, and create new user, create new user. Create new user 
and how it will be look user new user new user now i just want to make sure that it's not null and basically you new user creation failed okay now following following what i want to do uh, as a new user new maybe I, I will give here the name john doe so as i said earlier i do not wish to have uh, a constructor with a lot of fields so i have one default and i have here and i have here this is my default constructor and actually the method which is then called by the constructor and here i have the constructor where i set up my name and last name of user so let's just do it like following john doe then i need to set up his email new user set up account state uh, will be disabled let me pick up email email like uh, John Doe at Red Hat Red Hat .com. I like Red Hat products <laughs> no upon uh, I do not advertise for Red Hat but it's just like uh, their RHL so new user street set user street name like Alexander Plotz new user set user street number 17 uh, new user set city I I will just pick Berlin new user set birthday okay and this will be basically I think this will be a string Okay, let me just give some random stuff. Uh, okay, now, so I have here street name, street number, city, birth date, country, new user. Country set user country name germany and then we need okay what i need to add employment state okay new user set set employment state and then i just need to have user employment state i will basically make a self-employment self-employment like me freelancer so did i email street name street number city country name account state is disabled per default and birthday i think okay i think i have most of the deta details which i want to represent and here I just will invoke 
yeah to, to string method uh, like following system out sys out print line I think I have wrongly written probably and here I just will invoke to string this system out it should be yeah definitely and yeah create check check if new user can be created okay now uh, now I have written this final test and let's just look it up okay I have I see it have okay I need to do some need to do to, to make some formatting here for example I would not use commas I would prefer use a new line just for the prettifying the output to make it more readable in console and basically let's just hope it won't fail I hope not uh, let me let me just quickly okay and I think I need to yeah I like pretty output I, I don't like when it's not uh, let me just uh, make some sort of uh, exactly and I don't need this now now it should be more readable so this is actually what I'm getting so user first name John user last name Doe John Doe redhead city street number user country name Germany the date is okay self-employed so account state null uh, I know what why, why it's null and I need to write another test to cover this issue haha <laughs> okay where I have two names to name first name and last name here so basically this was a bug uh, check if a user can be created with the first and last time and account disabled account disabled Disa disabled so new user and what I compare and So now I just need to write a failing test. So get new user, get hold of a new user, get account state, and I actually it must be like so. Okay, and here I just not want to write false because I expect that the account will be so it should be it should fail yeah it fails so I need to fix it and how I will fix it I need to write in my in my create an constructor here 
I need to write following this set user let me just think about uh, okay so here I just need to set account state that's why I I did not create too many constructors set account set user account state should be false per default okay so now it's now the bug fix it yeah now now I can actually run again so and you see user account state false so definitely it was some work to to make it done but with the test I have definitely a proof of the things which I have created that they are working finally and pretty well. Let me just run all of my tests. All tests passing through. Let me uncomment this line. And I just need to run my POMXML test. So probably in the next session I will be working uh, way uh, with the registration form actually in invoke a c controller for the registration form uh, registration form will be created using a time leaf time leaf engine and it will, be, it will be pretty basic I will try to have clean the cleanest HTML possible I'm not so kind of liking working with HTML directly but anyhow this is what I expect from professional programmer to have in his skills and I definitely need to make a commit and then I just need to team commit I've written written test to show that mm, user model can be set up but definitely one part one key ingredient I still missing because I need later uh, to create a mock-up for the applications I mean to have a, a mock-up uh, this user model class should be able to have a reference to the applications but what I will do next in my next coding session I see it almost at, at two hours I try to, to make me short next time I will be working with the uh, Spring Boot directly writing first controller tests and having hopefully some results and writing an HTML form so thank you for your interest and that's it bye bye